Hello everyone and welcome to Why Mother Welcome to Freezing! Natu, this is Lamula Natu. Uh, I'm Ranja Kumu. And uh, Dark is here to watch me suffer and be bad as usual. Get right. out of there, That's you right. asshole! An attempt was made. Boy, this doesn't look like an arena at all. This doesn't look like a pain in the ass at all. Money! Alright, now that that's the wit. Ah, uh, yes. The infernal squirrel that won't fuck off. Hey, I hear it works a lot better if you hit him instead of the other way around. Yeah, well, the fucking lasers aren't helping. Can't you angle the shield up to block them? Not when you're attacking, I guess. Friendly reminder that usually trading blow for blow with a boss that has more health than you usually doesn't work. Luckily, it doesn't really have more health than me, not in terms of damage at least. <laughs> oh well. That's I think usually. Yeah. In kind of words in the midst of the ominous twisting swelter, the two words that will illuminate day and night, that will lead to the underworld gate where Bidofnir awaits. Day and night, huh? So Sun and moon. Mm -hmm. It's cold! You're dying. Yes, yes I am. Nice of you to notice. More importantly, welcome to Heaven's Labyrinth. Oh boy. With a name like that. You might notice the skeletons are blue. The Gaigas went down the path of imitating the mother's power. They were sealed in these lands. Their concealment is entrusted entirely to Typhon. I'm going to go the other way. Uh huh. I have the shield though. Typhon's slumber is ongoing, so it has so it has been since the gate was sealed by the unruly four pillars. The four pillars of Aragne, Sila, Griffin, and Glacia Labolas. You might be able like to notice name. that this place is kinda more Greek. I don't know the name like Arachno or Scylla. Nah. Mm-hmm. Also? That's the map. At least we know where the... Uh, you think he is? Yeah, right up there, but we can't really reach it from here. Also, that thing is scary. Fucking lizards. I mean, it's mostly just scary because we're at 27 HP, but you know, minor details. <laughs> Hermes! Hermes, yeah, for Greek, no. This is Heaven's Labyrinth. This is where we, dear children, the Olympians, have been shot away. What our race is at its end. No one remaining remembers why we were forced here, nor why we continue to fight, since we have been trusted fighting, governing, and everything else to the machine in the room above this one. 
No one else has the energy any longer. What if you like? I can tell you what you need to know about this place. Well, that was you? helpful. Oh, the dear children son their world deities known as Hades. However, he believed that he has already been driven out by the underworld deity of an older generation of children. Oh my. This place doesn't look ominous at all. Luckily, it's not dangerous yet. <laughs> yet. Huh. They're also dead. We'll go there later. Happy. Shortcut. And more importantly, Grail. <laughs> ah, that feels nice. All right. Bye. Fuck this shit. Yeah, I've been meaning to unlock that for a while now, I just can't, um, forgot. Look, this game has, has many pathways. Speaking of many pathways... Wait, no, not there. Hold on. We kinda missed an item here that might have been useful. Maybe, I don't remember. It's cold! We also, if you noticed, I what used to be the max HP in the first team. <laughs> no, actually, I didn't, didn't remember the numbers. It was 256. Hello! Alright, I need to. And then walk here. Gee, that might have been useful. <laughs> you think? Yes, maybe. Just gonna go ahead and. Alright. You're at full health. Yeah, I guess I am, huh? Now I am. <laughs> okay, a couple points. One point. Now, where do I want to go? I know where I want to go. Hope you practice long underwear. It's fine, I got the snow boots. <laughs> I already prepared this because. You know, we got moon, so now we can actually do this. Moon, heaven, and earth. Yep. We need to go awaken the giant. You know, if I don't fall like a fucking idiot. Awaken the giant, huh? And by awaken the giant, I mean the heater. You can also see how much this way this one costs. <laughs> Cheap ass punk. Okay then. I'm gonna break that pot open every single time, aren't I? <laughs> Probably. Knowing you. I'm not exactly the most. The better. I'm not exactly good at remembering things. Or at words, apparently. But yeah, this guy. Should probably do that one. I guess I need to actually be down there. So, first, I thought we have double jump. Late. What did that one do again? A piece of armor said to have belonged to a god of martial arts. Mar martial arts. Uh, martial. martial arts. Yeah. Where did to increase weapon attack speed? 
Spicy and slicey. Nice. <laughs> Are you gonna turn the Ow. <laughs> Might not do a lot of damage, but you know. Stone Duck Supreme. Thousand cuts! Alright. Eternal Ice is gone, yay! Which means that, still wait. Which means. I can do that now. I mean, I could do that, but just with the ice boot, I mean the snow boots, well, yeah, you know, we wouldn't have been able to go in there because the ice was in here. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Uh, what? Uh. You mean I won't believe me later? You gotta strengthen your arms when it's cold out, so buy as much as your puny muscles can carry. Uh, 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 He's got this thing. Well, it's Ganesha's talents, man. He will help bump you up financially. Unfortunately, you can't afford it. Yeah, remember? I'm sorry, but what the fuck was that? Well, since you're asking... Uh, uh, a priest who moved to the Shrine of the Frost Giants for his training. It must be really cold as he's constantly staying in motion. Annoyed at his followers never seem to show up to follow him. He attempts to stall his customers under the guise of training. Is this a Saitama reference? Probably. Oh, did we see We've that already one? done him. Okay. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh indeed. Was here again? Oh yeah. I need that. Usually you arrive there from the other side, I just kinda completely forgot about this chest. Oh shit. Yeesh. I didn't remember the exact location, so hey, a new Ang Jewel, yay! Fun! Yeah, this is where that would lead, so I literally could have gotten it a while ago. <laughs> oh well. This is bad. That was probably a waste of time, but whatever. I could literally have just gone up the stairs. <laughs> I assume we know you're bad. Yeah, even I know I'm bad. It's part of your charm, don't fuck it up. I'll try. Well, hey, at least it was an autosave. <laughs> that's, uh, that's totally why I did it, why I did it right? Uh, yeah, it, it, it was on purpose. Yeah, let's go with that. Wait for me! Oh, Nope. Man, that lack of iframes hurts. Mm-hmm. Literally. Yep. Hey, now we can actually go up here. Hope you've stocked up on weights! <laughs> yeah, this was also giant ice before. Also, don't fall. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine it would suck. Quick save. Awesome. A sealed, a seal of pile soil rests atop Sakit's prison. It will open by the words of, Sa of Sakit's former association. Second child, Titan. Yeah, that's a. Uh -huh. uh, that's not relevant at all, at all or anything. Also. No! Yay. Totally. Valor acquired. Valor, huh? Oh, fun. 
A demon created by the six children. They took a prototype demon called Spriggan and equipped it with the weapons of a much larger demon used by the giants. It was given specially made demonic eyes. Formidable weapons that unleash concentrated blast concentrated energy. Of HP. 80? Question mark? Let's go heal. Probably a good idea. Mm, also, did... I don't think that's what a demon is, but okay. I mean, we did grab the totem, at least. Also, you have mostly full HP and you're concerned about healing. What are you about to deal with? Well, what glossary entry did we just read? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just what are you about to have to put up with? Yeah, this Three. is oddly reminiscent of a previous boss fight. Yup. Minus the falling rocks. Yeah, it's a lot easier now that I have, like... Oof. Double jump, and... I had to say it didn't Damn. die. Damn! I had to say it didn't die. <laughs> the lack of iframes, though. I had to say it didn't die. I had just started saying, you know, this is a lot easier now that I have the do double jump. And Billy. then he did that. Wow, he did it again. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of being stuck behind him. I'm not sure that even is a way. Don't get stuck behind him? <laughs> yeah, basically. Hey, hey, don't jump when he pulls it back this time. Okay. Does he even have a set pattern? Uh, uh? <laughs> like, every other time, he's always... After, like, you know, a few hits, he does this straight I, beam, and then all of a sudden... No. I think you made the bite. I think it may be based on how much damage I do. Ow. And how do you even survive th uh, that without immunity frames? Probably that. Run away! Really? I'm getting some Tiamat flashbacks here and he's not even a primary boss. Am I supposed to like, dog right next to him or something?
Can you now the RNG skip? He's saying good sir. Oh. Oh, by the One way, if that okay. missile hits you, it's an insta kill. Of course it is. But more importantly, Play Doh outfit acquired. Hmm. Rustic Ancient Guard, resistant to heat, water, and polluted air. Though this comes at the cost of being extremely heavy. <laughs> what in the fuck? I cannot double jump anymore. I cannot even use the claw or the health figure, you know? On the other side. Just walk right through that shit. Mm hmm. Sadly, we still need another boss before we can actually go out there, but you know. We have this thing now. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a thing. Hmm. Trying to remember. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Eh, let's just go to Heaven's Labyrinth. Suffer. It's not that bad. Is it? It does have one main mechanic though. That basically rotates the four uh, rooms in the corners. Huh. It's... So yeah, the five rays of light are the origin of creation. Move the light and create. That's another hint for later, but we don't really need to take a screenshot of that one. Shut up. Alright, we need to go down there. Oh, Walter stays. Orpheus. My harp can bring even those of the underworld to tears. I once visited the underworld to see my dead wife. I played her a song of paradise. Interesting. Also, within the valley of the crawling infernal fiend. That I counter that's... is the Crowling Infernal Fiend, in case you're wondering. Okay, that's helpful. And it's supposed to rep... like, the map is also supposed to represent that. Not very helpful. Yeah, but... Like, all of the maps are kind of... They try to look like it's... Uh... Like what they represent or something. <laughs> so Takamaga Hara is supposed to look like a dragon and oh hello Baphomet! Wait a second. If you have no business in this temple, then leave. She seems a lot nicer. Yeah, she's a significantly more chill. Also, can you talk about that skeleton li limp over the fucking uh, background? Hmm. The Paraj. The Babara Yuga, the Age of Copper, when disaster was wrought from virtue and sin in balance. What skill? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Typhon will awaken by the two lights. The lights will be cast upon two walls. The light obstructing wells will accept the light, and Typhon shall awaken. That's one of those moments when you're. 
when you're trying to write an essay for a class and you just can't quite hit the word count, so you just start talking in a circle. Mm -hmm. So, um, you notice how this room looks a bit different now that I rotated the... Sort of. See those lights on the side? Sides. Yeah. Statue of Typhon. Oh. A stone statue of the monster Typhon, a giant in Greek mythology. Typhon was bearded by the earth in primeval times. He took the immortal witch, Echidna, as a wife and had many children with her. In Eglana, Typhon is the moniker for the maintenance computer created by the two children. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck off. Turning once will lead to the priestess. Turning thrice will lead to the griffin. Oh, so Baphomet's the priestess. That's what that meant. Hmm. The more you know. Yeah. Actually, we can then do it this way, huh? Oh, so this place is called the Agnes Room. Just figure that I, I mentioned like that. That's a dead first child in the background. Or something similar. Uh, what in the fuck? Arachne! <laughs> Arachne take the form of a spider, but are actually human females. They were created in experiments by the third children. During their attempts to replicate the mother, they have lost human level intelligence and act accord attack according to the spider instinct. That it looks nothing like the mother! I mean, it was an attempt to replicate her, that, did, that doesn't mean they got... Way far off! <laughs> yeah. Andrelfus. Andrelfus? I don't know. A peacock tainted by the evil of Eglana. Intoxicated by their own beauty, Andrelfus are typically found striking a beauty pose. Enemies that get too close are gracefully sprayed with feathers. I get it. Interesting. Not that they have ever lived long enough for us to see the attack, mind you. I mean, they did one, one did a second ago. Oh. Okay. You dodged it without even noticing it. <laughs> Lizardmen. A lizard evolved to walk on two feet and have higher intelligence. Skilled with sword and shield, and you can also breathe fire. This is the original from which the Lama Lana version was copied. The Agalana dwell variant is considerably more ferocious. Yeah, luckily at this apples. point I have all like the bracelet and the background and all of the <laughs> boss that let me deal with them. Otherwise I'd be yeah. scared shitless of them. Cause they, you know, that a those assholes from the um, Shrine of the Mother. Those right. were the assholes from the Gate of Illusion first technically, but yes. Oh, yeah, that too. The Harpy, the monster with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird. Vicious and ever hungry, they snap out, out at the first sign of prey. They feed their friends and leave scattered, uneaten remains behind them. Good. Nasty looking. And while we're here... Hermes, hero of the third children, is famed for capturing the twin survivors of the first children during his travels. From these twins, he extracted the knowledge of the first children, and the third children became prosperous as a result. Now he monitors the Gigas along with a few survivors of his race. Orpheus, greatest harp player of the third children. His skill for playing is said to move even the residents and beasts of the underworld. Now, however, he's lost both his harp and his passion for music. Well, That's we've seen the harp before, haven't we? We have. Uh, the American guy in the, uh, the battlefield. Ah, uh, I guess so. I tried to forget him. The guy that was selling it for a thousand gold that we literally cannot carry. Oh wait, I wonder what that talisman is for. Hmm. Baphomet. Oh hey, that's a without her thing. Yeah, it's just a mask. <laughs> a priestess and follower of Chaos. CHAOS! Nice. Baphomet is more neutral than the other survivors of the third children. When praying, she wears the mask of a black goat, leaving some portray her as a demon, that she is one of the Olympians who are referred to as angels. Irony at its finest. Yep, she even has white wings. Yeah. And she is definitely considerably more chill than she was last time we saw her. 
Yep. So, considering the nature of Ag uh, Aglana to La Malana, something tells me, you know, that was just a, a cheap copy. Probably. Well, we bleed one of them. So let me guess, we're gonna find tea in it too? I almost wish we would. <laughs> you know, have, have her be considerably more chill. Yeah, all of these buffs to my combat are really nice. There, that's open now. I'm trying to remember what was. Oh shit! Hello. What the fuck, are you? Are you not gonna die? Oh, there it is. Skilla. Hey, someone tells me getting thrashed by those flying things is not the way to do this. Maybe. What is she a robot? Possibly. Oh, hey. Skilla. There's the lore. I was looking for that. Shut up. Research mode. There is a base shaped hollow in the altar like object. Hmm. There's also no way to get up there, other than from above. But as you might notice, there's, there's no, no direct above. path. A base that stocks the power of storms, stored in the buried fortress. Well, we've heard of that name before. It's also in the Immortal Battlefield. Also, okay, there was another tablet we read before. That was... The dragon bites into the jaw of the... Abomination monster, uh, this thing in the in this tablet here. Right. Which part do you think this is? Hmm. Yeah, the dragon bites right on this log, which means we get up there from the dragon. Do you know huh. which one the dragon is? Nope. Let me hear and I'll show you. There's a reason you're playing this game. Yep. I am not good at these games. And you see the icon on the tablet. <laughs> Clever. And the map somewhat tries to represent it as well. Yeah. So we know where we need to go because we can tell which one's the head of the dragon. Okay. Uh. Oh shit. You gotta wait a little longer than that. Get down here! Oh, you little shit! You had a bite of cold steel. Well, that was fast. Can you tell him I'm, a, I'm here a bit late? <laughs> so, what? Uh, Mjolnir just lets you absorb lightning and throw it back? Yup. Only has three charges though. Yeah, that, 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 that one was kind of obvious now that I think about it. Rise, lightning. Yep. Well, before we do that, we need to. You need a mantra here. Yes, no shit. Hey, at least I'm paying attention. Mm hmm. Also, you know, we're in the jaw of the dragon. 
No, like in Mother Seven, if we knew the, what the Rain Mantra is, since you know we needed the Storm Vessel to actually open the chest. Where is this? Yeah, and you might notice on the corner, dear child, Olympian. <laughs> Just another yeah. subtle hint. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this game would uh, hurt my brain if I tried to do it myself. That's what I'm here for. No. And that's why I'm trying to get you to play Ravi Ravi instead. I'm not sure what to think of that. It's more on the phone and combat side rather than actually having to think for puzzles. Uh, also, the eye mm -hmm. shut, sort of? Yeah, which technically means I can now just try mantras if I want to. I don't remember them, but I did make a handy list, so I can check that. I was actually kinda close. Sun and Moon. At least I think it was that. Evidently not. So it would seem. This is with Daphne Shrunk, right? Nope. Oh, right, there's. Right, that's that other lava drain place. Okay. Wind, fire, sea, heaven. <laughs> okay. So, most of them. Do I even have. You don't have wind. Shit. Well, I guess I'll come back later. So, there is. So, speaking of which, there's a, a few other rooms we can open with mantras that probably should have a while ago. I'm here. <laughs> that, that feels so nice. Oh, up Pink wavy barrier? What are you talking about? Is that even a thing? It sounds so cute! Um, according to these materials, there are clues that will protect you. Like clues that let you move up through the sky. Anyway, this clues protect you from lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And of course. Oh. No. I kind of did that already. Oh well. I'm gonna get some sleep. I think she's just running by th running through all her little tips. Bit of Nord? Bit of Oh, that's hard to pronounce. So you need to defeat him, but don't know where he is. I saw a related stone tablet somewhere. It was sort of like the tape of a treetop. It was still in a gland and it's upside down, so that means it'd be at the very bottom. Indeed. She's got a lot of, you know, tips a little late. Yeah. Probably because you're supposed to go see her more often. Yeah, maybe. Kind of like in the first game, you're supposed to get run by her up pretty often. And you're supposed and to see her when you don't know what to do. <laughs> but I kind of already know what to do. And there's that little shit that I try to forget exists. Yep, we already killed this guy, but there is actually a thing to open here. Uh, As evident by the fact that there's a mantra eye, probably. Yeah. Don't get it wrong. Oh, I... Shit, I don't have... I also need the wind mantra here. <laughs> uh, whatever. Where's my tracker? Got that. Got that. Um, 
actually, this is actually a pretty good time to stop, so we'll come back later when I have a better idea of what to do and I have a properly updated my tracker. <laughs> so, yeah, hope you all have fun and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Laters.